Welcome to the Mill Serve Mike channel. Uh, I apologize for the background noise. I'll try to talk loud enough over it so you can understand what I'm saying. Uh, I'm in the truck heading to the range. Hopefully get some more shooting footage for some more videos. I'm probably going to title this something like uh, State of the Channel or something like that because this is basically just an excuse that I don't have a video made for this week. I Two reasons mainly. One, I pretty much ran out of good shooting footage just to get a good history video out of there, out there with. I'm gonna probably do a K31 video soon. I did the K or the uh, Model 1911 and K11 Swiss rifles last summer, but I never followed it up with a K31 video for two reasons. Uh, the first one being that at that time everything I put out there was getting demonetized and just getting buried in the algorithm. So, you know, I didn't really have much motivation to make videos, you know, put, you know, 10, 12 hours into a video. I just didn't really have much motivation to do that. And secondly, um, the footage I do have, I wasn't really happy with on the K31. Um, the ground was real soggy, so my tripod kept sinking. And of course, my other camera is the cell phone camera. And the tripod I had for that was horrible, you know, it was just barely off the table. So, and it was kind of dark that day, and it was at a range I wasn't used to being at. So, the lighting's horrible, the angles are horrible, and I figured I'd just get some more shooting footage so I can combine with the salvageable footage from that to make a K31 video. And another reason I kind of wanted to finally get the K31 video out there is I was having a you know a Twitter message conversation with Austin and Peterson. Um, <clears throat> he's come across my channel before. I uh, you know encouraged you to look at him for uh, he was running for president as a libertarian in 2016, and then he's running for Senate as a Republican in 2018 in Missouri. So I was kind of yeah you know, I was kind of backing him. He's kind of the he's in the mold of uh, Thomas Massey, Rand Paul, Justin Amosh. But right now, he has a radio show on the mornings in Jeff City, and you can catch that online. Uh, just look up Austin Peterson. I'm not sure what the uh, station is. And hopefully, it'll go syndicated so he can get more name recognition in Missouri, at least, if he does uh, do a future Missouri Senate run, because he can be much better than the, than the uh, rhinos that we currently have in there. But going back to the K31... Uh, Austin is also a Millsurp collector. He's kind of starting his collection now. And one of the things that he wants to get, uh, one of the next things he wants to get is a K31 rifle. So I I'll, would like to get a, a K31 video out there just for uh, you know him. So anyway, um, I also have a couple series that I want to have coming up. I'm going to do a series, a like a two-video series on early semi-auto rifles because I've attained a couple of those. Um, you know, one that was made with patents from John Moses Browning and one made without patents from John Moses Browning. And you can probably tell which one I think is going to be the uh, better rifle. I would have liked to have made it a three rifle series, but um, I missed out on buying a Winchester 1903, uh, you know, just 20, it wasn't actually 22 long rifles and 22 uh, Winchester Auto or something like that. But I regret missing out on buying that, so I could I had a added that to the series. I also want to do a uh, Carcano series since there's a flood of those hitting the market right now, and so you know now would be a good time to put some Carcano videos out there. I actually already have a Calvary carbine and a what was it like a Model 38, the ones that are on the uh, that are on the websites like Classic and AIM that people are buying up right now. I wanted to start out though with the World War I M91, the original model, and I won one of those off Gun Broker, but the seller has been real slow about getting it to me. I was kind of hoping to have it before this weekend so I can do some shooting footage with that and get that series out there. Hopefully it'll get to me by next week and hopefully I can uh, get some shooting footage and you know get start the Carcanos within the next month. Um, another thing I'd like to address besides, you know, stuff that I'm going to do, uh, this week, if you're anywhere on the gun interwebs, you will have probably have seen that Carl from InRange TV, there's a, uh, there's a screenshot, I believe it's from Discord, 
I'm not on Discord normally, or I'm actually not on Discord at all. Um, outside of YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, I don't do anything. I don't do Reddit or anything like that. But there was a uh, screenshot of something that Carl supposedly said about, um, you know, we're going to, with the way things are going, this is going to cause probably another assault weapons ban and a regression on concealed carry laws. And uh, then it said, like, with some of the people he's seen in gun culture in Arizona, it didn't bother him at all. Well, that was a fake, and it wasn't even a Photoshop. Um, I was actually texted by somebody who kind of knew the situation, knew what was going on, and he was suggesting a community defense. You know, I texted back that Carl probably needs to hit it head on. Uh, kind of the disagreement we had in between there was... Uh, you know, the person who texted me said, well, you know, you see, you know, you see Trump and, you know, it just, it actually makes it Trump the white supremacy. And when he does say something, you know, it just makes it worse. And my retort to that kind of like, well, Mr. Guns and Gear basically punched Yankee Marshall right in the mouth when Yankee Marshall uh, accused Mr. Guns and Gear of stolen valor. And this is what Carl needed to do. And to Carl's credit, you know, he, he, he hit, he hit it head on, but I also agree with the person who texted me that we need a community defense also we need a community defense so this is kind of my part of that I guess um, like I said I'm not on discord but I guess a lot of a lot of big youtubers who have discord will let their patreons uh, be moderators or something like that on there and there's kind of a hole where you can actually change what the person actually said if you have the right permissives and this is what happened to Carl um, you know, Carl was able to provide the screenshots of what he actually said, which was nothing of the sort. Um, you know, the, you know, the only thing he said was, this is going to cause a regression of uh, assault, or this is going to cause probably a new assault weapon ban and regression of concealed carry laws. But he, the all the stuff about him uh, saying that he welcomed it was definitely false. It was definitely put in. You know, he had screenshots. He had proof. And you know, he covered his ass, but this is the community defense, and one thing I, it apparently was from somebody who want, kind of wants to force him and Ian McCollum to say something political, and I've seen a lot of people out, out there get pissed at gun channels who don't get political, and you're looking at it the wrong way. I mean, many of these, many of the people on these gun channels do have strong personal 2A beliefs, but they don't get political because they're kind of a gateway drug um, for those who are on the fence. Because if you keep shouting at somebody's face, you're only preaching at the choir, and what we need to do is we need to, you know, gain more people on our side. So, you know, it's kind of like a religious person who just, you know, as soon as you see them, they bombard you, um, you know, with religion, the Bible, and everything, and, you know, if you aren't saved, you're going to hell. Um, you know, kind of turns you off, and, you know, sometimes if you get too overzealous in the political stuff, you turn people off. Now, I know I I have had some political videos on my channel before. Um, I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but my problem is, is I can't keep my mouth shut. But the people like uh, In Range, uh, Forgotten Weapons, and CN Arsenal, who are very good educational channels pull a lot of people into our side without getting political at all. So, get off their ass about saying stuff that are political. They bring people into the gun community and, to, and into 2A culture. Um, somebody who wouldn't even think about it, like, oh, well, you know, this is a good historical side to something I'm studying. And then, you know, they will come to see, well, you know, this may be, this is actually pretty cool. So, get off their asses about it, and, you know, doing something like this guy did to Carl is a, you know, it's kind of a bitch move. So anyway, there's my uh, thoughts on it, you know, kind of part of the community defense. Like I said, Carl already hit it head on, and he's going to have a video out there to kind of show how this can be done. Because I guess it is a, you know, it's kind of a hole, it's kind of a, uh, 
I'm not with the word. I, I'm not coming up with the word I'm looking for, but it's kind of a uh, flaw in uh, you know Discord. So anyway, um, I'm getting ready to hit the range here. Uh, thank you for staying with me if you stayed this long. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.